Hey, what's going on? Can you stop and ponder with me for a while? Let us reason together. And today I would like to share with you a passage of scripture that we can reflect upon, taken from the gospel, and this time it is taken from Mark's gospel. Let me just read that passage for you. When Jesus returned to Capernaum, word went around that he was back, and so many people collected that there was no room left, even in front of the door. He was preaching the word to them when people came bringing him paralytic, carried by four men. But as the crowd made it impossible to get the man to him, they stripped the roof over the place where Jesus was. And when they had made an opening, they lowered the stretcher on which the paralytic lay. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, My child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were saying, Who is this person? How can this man talk like this? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God? Jesus, inwardly aware that this was what they were thinking, said to them, Why do you have these thoughts in your hearts? Which of these is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven? Or to say, Get up, pick up your stretcher and walk. But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he turned to the paralytic, I order you, get up, pick up your stretcher, and go off home. I find that passage particularly interesting because the people wanted to bring this paralytic to Jesus. They couldn't get to Jesus because of the crowd. And so they went onto the roof and they removed part of the roof and they lured the paralytic in front of Jesus. Sometimes we could be like that. We want to get close to Jesus, but there are all kinds of obstacles in our way, whether it's the roof, whether it's the floor, or whatever it is that hinders us from truly seeing, meeting, and encountering Jesus. And perhaps this encourages us to take another look because once we encounter Jesus, once we meet Jesus, we know he's going to change things for us. Today, think about what it might be. What is the roof, in other words, that is hindering you that you need to remove so that you can see Jesus? Is it that you're unemployed? Is it that you're unwell, like the paralytic? Is it there are other people, the neighbors who are giving you trouble? Whatever it is, just remove it and lower yourself in the presence of Jesus and you will see what a tremendous difference this will make in your life. God bless you.